eco-friendly homes sound great in theory, but what do they actually constitute? If you're intrigued by buzzwords such as zero carbon, solar powered or prefab, but have no clue what they mean, you're not alone. In the world of green building, there are lots of varying standards and costs. To build a home that is easy on the environment and your wallet, we've demystified seven eco-friendly home types. In future videos, we'll dive deep into each type, giving you the pros and cons for constructing each one. But before we start, if you want to see more content like this, pressing the like button and commenting is the best way for us and the YouTube algorithm to see. Subscribing to our channel is the best way to support us. Okay, on to the video. Number one, zero carbon homes. A zero carbon home is so energy efficient that its annual net carbon footprint is zero. These homes are still tied to the grid, but are so well insulated, airtight and low energy that they've become carbon free. They produce enough renewable energy that it balances out any slight energy cost and may even produce more than they use, making it net positive. They are also called zero energy homes or net zero homes and look like any other regular home. Number two, tiny homes. The tiny house movement has become one of the most well-known eco-home trends and for good reason. They're an economical, environmental solution to living simply. A tiny home is usually between 10 and 40 square meters, although some can be a little larger or a little smaller. They can also be mobile little homes, fishing on a trailer and able to be moved to different locations. Tiny homes are considered a type of sustainable home because they use less energy, materials and space than the average size home. Some tiny home manufacturers also use non-toxic, local or reclaimed materials to lessen the already minimal impact on the planet. Number three, prefabs. Prefabricated homes or prefabs are homes built ahead of time and off-site. They are manufactured in parts that are shipped and assembled on site. The construction techniques vary greatly, depending on whether you go with a panel built or modular, but both of these prefab types are different from manufactured homes or factory built, as those are shipped as a whole. These days, many prefab homes sport a sleek, modernist design, but there are often custom architecture options if that's not your thing. So what makes them green? Since their pieces are fabricated in the factory with a very specific building process, they create less waste than site-built homes. There's no guesswork or calculations here, since builders know exactly how much material they'll need. Additionally, there are tons of manufacturers who include sustainable components and energy efficiency in their designs, as it's one of the key reasons for going with a prefab in the first place. Number four, passive house. A passive house is a home built using rigorous standards for energy efficiency. A passive home building aims to achieve quantifiable energy efficiency as well as comfort through the various design principles such as extreme air tightness, continuous insulation, and high performance windows and doors. While reducing the environmental impact, residents of passive houses will enjoy excellent indoor air quality and temperature as well. The Passive House Institute asserts that designing a passive house is your best bet for becoming net zero or net positive. This means your home generates as much or more energy than it needs. Number five, earth ships. An earth ship is a completely self-sustaining off the grid home. They're constructed of both natural and recycled materials, such as old tires or glass bottles. These homes are designed to heat and cool themselves naturally, collect solar and wind power, harvest water from rain and snow, contain or treat their own sewage, as well as produce food. These sustainable homes aren't necessarily the green homes you'll see on sale down the street. They're still a pretty radical idea, but are wonderfully environmental nonetheless. Number six, shipping container homes. Shipping container homes use steel cargo containers as a structural element. Since all shipping containers are all the same size, they can be stacked on or pieced together to create a larger building. Shipping containers can be used for all sorts of buildings, such as low-income housing, dorms, and even a Starbucks drive through They tend to have a modern, industrial look to them, but of course can be spruced up in numerous ways. Shipping container homes are eco-friendly because they're the perfect example of upcycling. Instead of wasting tons of steel from unwanted containers, they can be turned into amazing homes, saving builders from using new materials. These homes are super durable, require little labor, and can turn out to be quite inexpensive. And finally, number seven, rammed earth. This is about as natural as it gets. 
Rammed earth homes are simple. They're built from tightly packed soil. A mix of soil and a little water gets pressed into plywood forms to create walls. And once a section of wall has been cured or dried, the forms are removed. The outcome is a smoothly layered rock appearance, essentially man-made sedentary rock, making for a unique yet sophisticated home. Considering that rammed earth buildings are very literally made from the ground we walk on, it's no surprise that they've been around for thousands of years. The Great Wall of China, for example, was made using rammed earth techniques and shows its durability and beauty over time. Rammed earth homes will pay it forward to both the homeowner and the planet. They are incredibly low maintenance, strong, fire and pest resistant, breathable and insulating. Remember to keep tuned to see individual videos on each topic. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.